Czechoslovakia's answer was to mobilize the army. And without even waiting for assurance from her allies, this free democracy defied an immensely more powerful dictatorship. President Benish, with Generals Krejci and Sirovi, directed the mobilization. On May 21st, the frontiers were guarded. And Czechoslovakia's soldiers faced the German Reich at a distance of a few yards. roads, so as to resist not only in their fortifications, but upon the first few yards of Czech soil that might be invaded. Behind these first barricades on the North Bohemian Hills, the army took its advanced positions in front of the great underground line of fortifications the so-called Maginot Line. Looking opposite to the hills of Saxony, the Czech Maginot Line was a copy of and an improvement upon the French one. It had been built under the supervision of the French general staff, and the German generals had reason to fear the cost of storming these heavily fortified bulwarks. and resolute stood their ground. When war did not come, the children of German Democrats in these frontier villages played with their Czech comrades in a game they called Gegen Fascismus, a sort of knock the Nazi down. Their elders, German Democrats and Czechs, celebrated the peace together. When Hitler did not march, and the Sudetenland was not annexed to Germany, the Henlein movement took a severe setback. But Henlein restored some measure of the old frenzy to his followers in the great party funeral given to two Nazi stormtroopers who had been killed on the frontier May 20th by Czech guards. They had been shot while carrying messages across from Germany. Henlein stormtroopers had routed out the mourners as systematically as they had routed out the voters a few days before. They went from house to house in Eger and surrounding towns and made it known that all who did not turn out for their propaganda parade would be set down as enemies of the party. Henline Smile says, this is a good show. This funeral at Eger was an important and significant event in the unfolding of the Nazi conspiracy in Czechoslovakia. Many of the people assembled here were misled by the charges of the Nazi agitators, but thousands who were not Henlein party members had attended only in fear of the stormtroopers' threats. No, this is not a scene from the Dark Ages. This is the Nazi way. of the 
demonstration there and of Hitler's official part in it spread like wildfire through the Bohemian German areas. Again, Henlein and his stormtroopers warned all citizens of German race to expect the German army any day, any night. But the Czechs stood firm and calm behind their barricades, ready for whatever might come. On this occasion, the British, French, and Russians stood by the cause of public order in Europe, and Hitler did not dare to march. The Sokol Congress, the following month in Prague, took on the aspect of a victory celebration for Czechoslovakia, for world peace, and for democracy. Local delegates from all over the country and from neighboring Slavic countries marched to the great Masaryk Stadium in June. Thank you. 